Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at Umbrella OS. We're going to install it, run it, and see what type of applications we can install, and then see how it compares with other applications or OSs that we've tried before. Umbrellas give you multiple applications that you can install easily. For those who are fans of Bitcoin, you can run your own Bitcoin node. You can run Nextcloud, Plex, Pi-hole, or anything you want from your home network. I believe it's easy to install. As you guys can see, you can install it anywhere on a Raspberry Pi or on any other x86 system. Here you have the minimum requirements or the recommended uh, settings. As you guys know, with Linux, you can always run anything you want. So let's see here and see how to install it. And as you guys can see, you can grab the ISO, put it on uh, USB using Belana Etcher, and then you can go from there. This is gonna be a demo, so I'm not gonna go through the install process, but it should be straightforward if you have ever used any other Linux operating system. Once you've completed the install process, then you can visit the IP of the machine where you installed Umbrella OS. And the first page, the welcome page, should look like this. Now let's get started. So let's click on the start button and see what happens. Let's create an account. All right, I'm all set. Next, and then we're here. And we already have an update, it looks like. All right, this should be the home page, I believe. And from here, you can go to different places. Let's go to the settings and see what we can see. Over here, we see our device where it's installed. In my case, it's in my Proxmox, so it's gonna show me the virtual information. And you can log out, restart shutdown. You can change your password, play with the different wallpapers. The animation looks very cool. And we can set up 2FA, remote access, and other uh, information we can do over here. And you can see that you have an update pending, which we could install if we wanted to. You see other information on the side as well. Um, other than that, there isn't any other thing here. Advanced shows us we can open a terminal. Let's see how it looks like. Yes. Okay, this is great. So we can run. Within, we can open a terminal within Umbrella OS itself. All right. And then over here, we have the live usage. So it monitors and show us the usage in real time. This is cool. And over here, I believe this is going to show us the applications. But since we don't have any application installed at the moment, then we don't see anything. So when we go to the home page, it looks like this, and we can choose any application we want. So let's install a few applications and see how it looks like. Let me install one from here. So let's go with Jellyfin. I'll click on it. Nothing happens. So I believe maybe you can't install anything from here. Let me explore the App Store. Let's click on Jellyfin and then install. So that way it installs and it's very fast and the ui is very responsive so when whilst that is installing let's see if we can go back and look for another application memos and install all right that's great installed now let's go back all right so now home we have the two applications that we've installed. I click on Memos, it opens in immediately. Jellyfin opens immediately. Now, going back to the App Store, you will see that you have the usual Docker and other applications, but you also have some different ones, such as a Bitcoin node. Now, I'm not that big into crypto, but you can see that it's very big in crypto. And if we click on this Bitcoin um, category, you'll see that there is way more applications that it uses. 
the App Store has the usual applications that you might find in any other store, but I believe it lacks the ability to install any app you want unless you go into the command line interface and try yourself. There is no GUI way to do all of those things from this interface you have here. And I think that's the big difference between this and Casa OS. So after reading through a couple of more times and using this, it looks like for use cases where you want to run software in a Linux environment, you can use Portainer app and it's available in the Umbral App Store. So if you use Portainer, perhaps there is a way you can install multiple other applications outside of the Umbral App Store. So I'm gonna be testing this out and per perhaps this would be an opening where you can install any other app you want. Umber OS has a community forum that is very helpful and I was able to find a guide to install Umbrel on Proxmox. So if you have any problems, you can always come to their forum and search for your problem and you might find a fix. So do I recommend Umbrel OS? So yes. Umbrellos makes self-hosting easy and accessible for everyone. If you're starting out, it gives you control over your data and digital life in general. With its user-friendly design, anyone can start self-hosting. Check out Umbrel for yourself and let me know in the comments if you like it or not. See you in the next video. Bye-bye, bye-bye, bye-bye.